Hi, I am Lilith, and I am here to tell you about my attempt at suicide. <sighs> okay. Today, I tried to commit suicide. Yesterday, I did too. Um, about a week, two weeks, one, one or two weeks ago, I wrote the note. I, uh, finished it yesterday, and it was before I right to die it's pretty fucking messy to be honest i was just flipping out and crying and i was doing it because i just felt like i had nothing left in life that i could count on but i actually did and i am here to tell you about how i was saved by my, my life was saved by my friends uh so today i was just sitting at my desk doing my schoolwork since I do online school. Uh, I, my brother came out of nowhere and said, Hey sis, guess what? I asked, said, What? He said, Your worthless mistake. Uh, I looked at him and said, Why would you say that? And then he started verbally saying stuff that was very hurtful, verbal abuse. Um, none of my family knows about this. Uh, they don't know that I tried to commit suicide. I don't think they ever will, unless they find this video. Your mom died. Uh, you suck. You uh, just can't go, excuse me. Um, but yeah. All I'm gonna say to people that want to commit suicide or are depressed and or self-harm there is always a light at the end of the tunnel i know you've been told that many fucking times i have too but it's true it's actually true to be honest because you will find something that will make you happy you will find a light at the end of the tunnel does it mean your tunnel has to end so soon um Mainly, it's just something that's scary and hurtful. It's just pretty fucking... Just... I don't question why people do what they do, but... Today, I was saved by my friends from suicide because... I was only talking to one of them. Um, in, like, about an hour into it, he... Well, about 30 minutes into it, he called me. Then, 30 minutes later, I found out that he told two of my other friends. One of them immediately responded in the group we were in, but we were on a personal chat together. Uh, he, she started saying, Are you okay? Are you okay? Please don't do anything. I care about you. We all do. And then, my other friend replied. He told me not to do it either. Uh, mainly I asked them why they cared so much. Uh, they said, because I was a friend, I told them a little secret that I will not be saying for now. And they said, it doesn't matter, you sh you did it for us and stuff like that. And mainly it brought me to tears, because I, it felt like I didn't have any friends, and I guess I did. I felt like I wouldn't care if I did. Um, and if it wasn't for them, I actually would have committed suicide, to be honest. If it wasn't for my amazing friends that, that my amazing friend that decided to tell my other two friends about what I was doing, he said he was sorry, but I don't, I appreciate it now. I appreciate that he got my other two friends into this, or I would have slit my wrist open. But here's the thing. I, about two hours into the thing, I went outside. I was crying my ass off. And I went up on the roof. They knew about it, and they told me not to jump. They told me to get down. And maybe they just talked to me about it. They talked to me to, to, 
down did not do it. And mainly, <laughs> I don't think I would be here right now telling you all this if it wasn't for them. And it's just scary, and it's hurtful, and it's just complete, utter bullshit that I try to do this, but it really isn't, because I try to commit suicide. It's just not the answer, but some people think it is. All I'm gonna say is, sweetie, honey, baby, dumpling. Yes, I'm saying nicknames, because I can't, um, it's not the answer. It's not the answer. It's never the answer. And you need to know that. You are worth everything. Doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl. You are worth something. You are worth it. You are worth living. You are worth you are worth everything. You are worth something. You are not nothing. You, and someone cares about you. Please do not say no one cares about me because I do, and I'm not no one. Um, n neither are people that actually do care about you. What if there's a guy that likes you and you don't even know it, and everybody else doesn't? They say you're worthless, and he defends you, and you don't even realize it. Um. He helps you. What if there's a friend, a parent, a brother, sister, a sibling, any type? It does not matter what causes this. There's always someone that cares about you. And if you feel like you don't, go to me. Because you have me. You can go to my friends. They'll probably be in the comments, to be honest. You just need to know that suicide isn't the answer. I wouldn't... It isn't, to be honest. I can tell you this. Mainly, it's hard, I know. Just know that there is someone that cares for you, and if you feel like there isn't, there's me. There's uh, a friend, a family member, Someone online. Like my friends, they're online. I don't know them in real life, but I know them personally right now. They're online. I made a promise to a friend yesterday. It was the same friend that, t that I originally talked to about my depression. And we made a promise. We drew a star on our wrists and promised each other that we wouldn't do anything. Because he harmed himself because I harmed myself. Um, I'm gonna ask is, dude, don't do it again. You gotta promise you that. <laughs> um, I know people out there are cruel. Life isn't perfect and horrible. <laughs> you don't have to give up because of it. You just gotta stay strong. And I mean this. Stay strong and you'll get through it. That's what I've been told. But suicide is not the answer, and if you need someone to talk to, don't hesitate to come to me. Or my friends. <laughs> it's scary and weird and very, very, very emotional. I know. Just know that you are loved and cared for, and you don't deserve to die. I am here for you people are there for you, just know that you'll make it through it. I'll get all alive. But anyways, I gotta go, and I'll see you all later. Stay strong, please. Bye.